Rappers Country, Wayne, of course. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We talk comedy every day for hours at a time. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' We got to finally see you in stand-up in Houston, man. That was the first time that we seen you in it, doing stand-up. We mm -hmm. came, we met you at Atlanta. We was in Atlanta. We was at the uh, Atlanta Comedy Club. Mm -hmm. That's where we first met. But you didn't perform But that he night. didn't perform. He was just sitting back, chilling, watching everything, sitting there. I think it was that other dude there, too, the, guy, the big guy with the bad eye. What's his name? Uh, the big guy horn? with the bad eye, the one that uh uh be with Fifty Cent used to be with Fifty Cent. Oh yeah, my man uh uh, uh Jack uh, Jack Thriller. Thriller yeah. He was there that night, and I was like, dang man, it's popping down here. That was my first time at that place, man. But it was a dope setup, man. But I was like, dang, we got to see him. Mm -hmm. And God made a way when we went down to Houston. We was invited by Mike. Won't he do it? He'll do it every time. <laughs> he already and, done it. And you know what? We just left L.A. and we was in L.A. We did uh Ron G. Mm -hmm. We, you know, the one that was oh, with y'all yeah, that night. Yeah, we Thomas. interviewed him mm -hmm. when we was in LA. Really? I'm yeah. not playing. So we that's really, we, we going through the whole, and I, you know, I got some stuff coming up in a couple of weeks, so I'll be in Atlanta. I'm getting everybody on the camp. Watch what I tell you. I'm talking about, man. man. Shout out to Boss Talk 101, showing nothing but love to comedians, actors, anybody that's out there. I love this show. I will always do it, no matter what. That's why I'm, it's being recorded right now. Jordan Jackson will come back every time. <laughs> Let's get it. Man, see, that, and that's what I love about it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The fact that when we first asked you to come, uh, you was on time that day, you was on time today, you was on time every time. That's Have you ever been late anywhere? No, I don't play those games because, you know, you got to respect people's time because I definitely want them to respect mine. I love so it. So when it comes to that, you, you tell me how you feel about me when you show up on time. If you just come up like you're doing me a favor, I, I don't need that energy in, mm -hmm. in nothing I'm doing. Bro, every time you was on time, you was all, always... The, you know that it was it was the spirit of God that was with you because you always came. You, you dropped jewels, man. Um, just the whole situation of every time we met you made us feel like, hey, man, you know, we, it was respect. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. So what did you see when you would seen him? He was acting a damn fool up there at that uh, <laughs> on that stage. He did the, the JJ thing. <laughs> it was all kind of stuff going on up there, man. I've been having some strange things that have been happening to me lately, though. People been walking up to me and just start singing the theme song from Good Times. <laughs> I have no idea why either. How did? How long? Let me tell y'all. If y'all have not seen him energy. in person, <laughs> I mean, like, it's totally different from what I see on the internet. It was. It, it, it's a different type of comedy to me. It was just way funnier to me. Right. Okay. I love to watch you on the internet, but that was like, y'all got to see him live and in person. You have to, have to. When are you going to do your own show? Soon. You know, we got some stuff in, you know, in the oven. That's what people always say when they really don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> we got some stuff, you know, some skills in the fire, you know, but you know, we working on stuff. We don't go back on tour in, uh, to February. So, you know, I got to so put, you know, So in between then and now, yep, you're going to stay. Just doing okay. shows everywhere I cool. can. So. What, who are, who are, so, like some people you see them in the crowd just checking things out who are some of the people that doesn't sit and watch you I know you said Cat Williams was one of them didn't he say last mm -hmm. time is anybody else that kind of in the comic, comedian world that's kind of just you know you've seen and kind of learned stuff from oh yeah uh, Zoo Man Miller uh, uh, my boy I mean, it's so many different people there, but Zoo Man is one of the biggest influencers. Country Wayne, of course. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We talk comedy every day for hours at a time um and, you know, a few other people when we're actually um, at shows that'll come back and give me feedback. But, you know, the stand-up world definitely is a different mm -hmm. world uh, from the skits. But I knew that social media was blowing up. So a lot of people think that I started doing the social media That's and then started wondering. doing stand-up. But you started so stand-up first? I was already doing stand-up, but I know wow. who's going to care about what I'm talking about if I'm not known. Right. So I decided to go ahead and push the social media and then surprise people because a lot of people would come to my open mics in Atlanta and just see me working on material. So no one ever got to see me in Atlanta. They see me at the Fox Theater with Country Wayne. And all of a sudden they were like, whoa, mm -hmm. they didn't expect that, which is that's how I want it anyway. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.